Hello and welcome back to the Shiki Science Show. In today's video, we're going to look at the question, what are the integrative hallmarks of ageing? So for the past few videos now, we've been looking at the different hallmarks of ageing as given by this review article. We've looked at the primary causes of ageing, we've looked at the antagonistic hallmarks or the responses to ageing, and in this video we'll look at the systemic hallmarks, otherwise referred to as the integrative hallmarks of ageing. So the systemic hallmarks of ageing includes intercellular signalling, such as inflammation, and loss of stem cells. So what actually are the integrative hallmarks? So the integrative hallmarks are pretty much the result of the previous two categories. So they are responsible for the decline in function and they alter tissue homeostasis and function. So the key point of these hallmarks is to show that aging doesn't just occur on a cellular level, but on the cell non-autonomous level, i.e. interactions between different cells and tissues. So first up is altered intercellular communication. So organisms like ourselves are multicellular and therefore cells have to communicate with other cell types, such as when there's damage in a tissue. And this is important for maintaining tissue integrity. However, as you age, this communication declines in function and therefore contributes to the aging process. So how do cells communicate with each other? So there are kind of three different types of intercellular communication. You have endocrine, neuroendocrine, and neuronal signaling. So an example of neurohormonal signalling includes um, the insulin IGF-1 signalling axes, which we looked at before in nutrient signalling. But kind of the hot topic in terms of intercellular signalling at the moment in ageing is inflammation and the increase of inflammatory responses during the ageing process. So this increase in inflammatory reactions during ageing has been given the more fun name, inflammaging. And so inflammaging can arise from many different causes. So one of them is increased tissue damage that can secrete pro-inflammatory factors. Secondly, it can increase due to the reduced ability of the immune system to detect defective cells or cells that have been infected by pathogens. Also, cellular senescence, part of its phenotype, the SASP as we spoke about last time, is to secrete pro-inflammatory factors. And largely, as you age, there has also been an associated increased level of pro-inflammatory factors such as TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta, interleukin-6 and NF-kappa-B. And these are all um, inflammatory transcription factors. So, as given by this review article, the best definition of inflammaging is the long-term result of the chronic stimulation of the innate immune system, which gets defective on ageing. But what actually increases the production of pro-inflammatory factors, and how does this actually relate to ageing? So, as suggested by one of the figures in this review article, there are six kind of reasons for the production of pro-inflammatory factors for a cell. Firstly is the increase of dysfunctional organelles, predominantly the mitochondria. Secondly, there, as you age, is a defective disposal of dysfunctional organelles, this is partly due to decreased autophagy. Thirdly, there is an increase in the endoplasmic reticulum, the ER stress in a cell. Also, fourth, there is activation of the inflammasome. Fifth, there is defective proteostasis. And lastly, there is activation of the DNA damage response. So the last two are the proteostasis and the DNA damage response increase are both linked to the primary causes of ageing, as we discussed in a previous video. So yeah, if we're going to link intercellular signalling to ageing, we need to really understand what causes these factors to cause an increased production of pro-inflammatory factors. Complicated. <laughs> but the key thing to remember about these different hallmarks of ageing is that they're all interconnected, and actually we can understand the causes of intercellular signalling dysregulation through the other hallmarks. And so this Nature Review article demonstrates well in this figure how these different hallmarks that they refer to as the pillars can be interconnected with inflammation increase during ageing. And so evidence for the importance of inflammation in ageing can be seen by the age-associated diseases where inflammation has been also correlated. So this is seen in obesity, type 2 diabetes and atherosclerosis. So the last hallmark to discuss is loss of stem cells. So what are stem cells? So stem cells are cells that have the ability to replicate and regenerate itself over time continuously. 
but they also have the potential to differentiate and turn into somatic cell types or specialised cell types, such as a stem cell differentiating into a skin cell. And so this is really important for the repair and replacements of tissues that get damaged during everyday life. And so loss of stem cells results in a loss of repair and replacement, and this contributes to ageing. So how do stem cells get lost and what is the cause of this loss of stem cells? So in terms of the causes, this can be split into either extrinsic or intrinsic factors. So stem cells um, are found in so-called stem cell niches, kind of like their home, and the niche itself could get damaged during the ageing process and therefore the protection of the stem cells gets lost. Alternatively, the stem cell itself could become defective through certain processes that we've already looked at before. For example, the shortening of telomeres over time can result in the loss of replicative potential of the stem cells. But other primary causes of ageing, such as DNA damage and loss of proteostasis, can also result in loss of stem cell function. So this figure tries to bring all the different hallmarks that we have discussed together. So in this video, we have looked specifically at the integrative hallmarks. So this includes the loss of stem cells and perturbed intercellular signaling. And so as can be seen, both the loss of the replacement and repair of tissues and the increased inflammation can both result in an increase or acceleration of the aging process due to the increased production of protein, lipid or DNA damage or the loss of repair of this damage. So for more information on this topic, if you're interested in, I highly recommend checking out this review article. But hopefully this video has introduced you to the integrative hallmarks of ageing.